Hi, Joe Cerrone. In this video, I'm going to show how to design for 3D printing in dual color extrusion. And so in this example, we have this napkin holder and it's got a relief. That we were printing separately with two different 3D printers, but we have a dual extrusion printer and what we're going to do is set this up to print with dual extrusion. And the key to making that work is getting the components to be lined up in their coordinates. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this geometry right here. And I'm going to move it into place using this O snap from the back of the circular shape here. And I'm going to place it in the proper location. Right here. And so that's properly aligned. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a separate copy, put it over here in the back. And I'm going to line that up also because it's got two, one on each side. And I'll move that one as well. And so now that we have our parts aligned in the CAD system, what we're going to do is we're going to export these parts and then bring them into 3D Builder to line them up. Because even if we export them directly from AutoCAD, what I'm finding is that they don't line up. And so what we'll do is we'll export these. So we'll export that as the base. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on a layer that's turned off. And then I'm going to export the two leaves as an STL. And if I go into my slicer, And we open those files. We can bring in the base. And I'm going to just leave it sideways like this because it's the way it came in in the orientation. And I'm going to bring in the leaves. And what we'll see is that And let's see if we can combine them. And so what we'll do is we'll assign this to extruder 2, green pill A. And then this one's assigned to extruder 1. We'll select all. Right click and merge the models.
And you can see that they did not line up. And so in order to get these to line up, I'm going to delete them out and open them in 3D Builder. And so here's 3D Builder, and I'm going to say New Scene. And I'm going to insert my base. Comes in in metric units, and I'll green check mark that. And then I'm going to insert my leaves. And you can see that they're not lined up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the leaves into the right orientation. And then I'm going to go through and export each of these. Now that they're lined up, I'm going to export these as STL files. And to do that, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just erase one of them. And then I'm going to export it as an STL file. I'm going to say new base, excuse me, new leaf. I'm going to undo that process, and then I'm going to do the vice versa. And then I'm going to save this file. is the new base. And we're going to use the STL format for that as well. It warns me, it tells me that it would rather I use the 3MF format. All right, now we're going to go into our slicer and we're going to open those. So here's our new base. And this is going to be assigned to extruder number one, which is silver metallic PLA. And then we're going to open up our leaf drawings. We're going to select the leaves, right click, and assign those to extruder number two. We're going to select all, right mouse click, and merge the models. And what that will do is merge the models in the proper location with the proper extruders. And then we're just going to orientate the part for 3D printing. And that completes this video.